and so it begins. It's my uh, it's Saturday. It's my first day of the week. I'm just going away now. My throat's a bit sore, so forgive me for my voice. <clears throat> now we're just going to leave the yard now. Settle in. Still got my coat on. <laughs> do, do, do. Beautiful. As far as I know today, I've got to pick up my trailer and go straight to Decot and Snodland, no top up. That makes a nice change. Hope you're all enjoying your uh, weekend, as in a Saturday and Sunday. I've just had my weekend, it's my first day back. Uh, so I'm just back now. If you watched my video from the one before, um, you'll be glad to know that I found the reason for the tapping noise. And it was a photo frame on the back wall. Now, I've normally got the um, microphone on my, on my arm, but it cuts out a lot of noise. It's very good at what it does, but it's a noise cancelling so you can't hear anything. So I've, um, I've stopped it, which means the microphone pickups are on the uh, back on the GoPro on the back wall, just where the photo frame was tapping. So uh, you'd be glad to, know, to notice that it's hopefully gone. Laura's been left in a really nice condition. It's even been clean. All I'm hoping for now is that the uh, trailer that I picked up and brought down that is the same one it's still there. And that will really make my day.
Well, here we are. We uh, you join me coming into Digpot now. I'm uh, half an hour early. They might not even let me in, but uh, I have got bacon on, and that's always normally a good one to, to let in. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. It's still raining. Still horrible. Uh, hey ho! I'm planning on uh, doing Tesco's and then coming out and going into Marks and Spencer's to do a bit of food shopping. Hopefully. Although I have got a meal for tomorrow. A Jamaican. Um, Jamaican chicken. Curry of rice and wild rice, believe it or not. It's ever so tasty. I've had it, I have it a lot because it's only, uh, it's like a Weight Watchers type of thing. It's only on the, something like 300 calories. It's, it's amazing. But it is very good. I like it a lot. Anyway, the old Volvo's going very well. Like I didn't expect that. see me moving this arm on the right it's for the uh, re retarding braking engine brake it's amazing it's got an automatic it's got a stage one two and three and all and if you hit the button on the side it's um it's called a brake assist and what it does is it uses your your engine your gearbox and your service brakes all together to make it very, very efficient braking. It's very good. Well, I beat bugger. Check you are there. That garage right in front of us, the LBP garage, that's uh, Marks and Spencer's, that's where I'm hoping to go in. I don't know what to cook for tomorrow yet, probably the uh, Jamaican chicken, so I might not even need to go in there. Although I haven't got any tidbits you can. Um, Munch, munch on, you know. The trouble is with driving through the night, you end up getting uh, a bit hungry. Finished, yeah. yeah, very good. And then you um, you start to eat all the wrong things. Then, so I want to try and make sure I've got enough just to keep on munching with. Uh, it ain't going to bother me too much. I'm also diabetic as well, see, so it adds even more of an equation to it. It's like it stopped raining at last. Um, tomorrow we're supposed to have a weather warning with a lot of snow. And uh, it is getting cold, it's uh, minus five at the moment, so it's a bit on the chilly side. 
uh, white, absolutely white out it is. It's amazing. But uh, I'm all empty now and just running down to uh, Canterbury to park up for the night. It's now 5 a.m. So we both would be parked up for probably be about four past six. And I'm gonna go straight to bed, I think, because I'm knackered. It's been quite a hard night. Uh, a lot of things have gone wrong with uh, paperwork and reference numbers and not adding up and not booked in and all sorts of stuff. It happens, and it happens more than you think. But, um, all I'm hoping for now is to get yourself parked up, stick the heating on, I may have some breakfast and then go sleep. And then tomorrow when I wake up, it, uh, it could even be a uh, snowy white day. And, uh, I'm going home tomorrow, so it'll be a uh, case of seeing what we've got on the way home. So I think that's, this is what the blog's going to be about, I think, today, is to prepare for the worst, prepare for the, uh, a bad night, get as much sleep as we can possibly get, uh, maybe watch a film tomorrow afternoon. I have got faggots mashed potato, peas and gravy for tea tomorrow. I'm going to cook in the cab and I'm not doing it in any fancy um, Ridge Monkey or S SQ, whatever they're called, pans or, or in my uh, pressure cooker. It's all going to be done in the microwave. Apart from the gravy, I'm going to do in the um, in a bowl with boiling water from the kettle. So that's going to be tea tomorrow night. So we'll see how that pans out. I'll put my GoPro on charge when I get parked up. And my remote control. That's warmed up a bit now. see how it goes. I've, uh, I've got plenty of diesel, plenty of our blue, so uh, I'm not too worried. I've got plenty of food. So if it goes really bad like it's supposed to, then I've got enough provisions. Even with the food I've got in my cupboard, I could probably last four days. Maybe more. And that's without spending any more money. But the snow's never stopped me yet, so uh, it'll probably come to nothing anyway. I'm saying that now. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I've just left um, Stockland in Kent and on, on the M20 heading towards Dover. I'm going to come off on the next junction and uh, head up the hill towards City Court and then turn right and then back from Dover again into Canterbury.
uh, mashed potato and faggots, peas and gravy was amazing. I'll do that again, no problem at all. So here we are, my last day of the week, I'm uh, heading home tonight and the weather forecast was correct. We got snow. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse coming uh, around the uh, bottom side of the M25. Now on the M4, um, it's more sleety now than it was snow. It was quite heavy at one point. But it's now dropped to two degrees. up cars. <laughs> There's a surprise. At the moment my anti-collision thing is uh, inoperable because the lorry on the front is all covered in snow. So uh, the snow was actually deterring it from sending out a beam to track whoever is in front of me. So it switched off. The green light's gone off here and it's now on the dash telling me it's not working. Yeah. Until the snow melts or I wipe it off, it won't work anymore. about 
know it's uh, the weather's not so nice, but I still left Canterbury to get to uh, Avermouth, which flat out is still a four to four and a half hour trip. So you've got to keep your eyes peeled. People get very, very twitchy in this kind of weather. One minute they're doing 17, next minute they're doing 40. This is the kind of speed I hate, where it's almost matching yours. tipped and reloaded with trays and it's only 20 to 2 so we're doing very well next stop Victoria in Cornwall or I should lose this lovely trailer That's a huge little store. <laughs> Hard to see, not store. Massive. That's a 
big old um, Davis Turner. I haven't ever seen much in there. There's a few cars outside that. No stop for a minute. trays and it's only 20 to 2 so we're doing very well next stop Victoria in Cornwall or I should lose this lovely trailer Truck 
Con now. I have two days off. I can't wait to get in bed. I haven't been very well since I left. So I'm not feeling the best. Is that one of ours? Yeah. That's a huge little store. <laughs> RDC Pop Store. Massive. Six o'clock. I might be done. That's a big old um, Davis Turner. I haven't ever seen much in there. There's a few cars outside that. snow stopped for a minute.
a little bit further on. expected to very much to be honest we 
don't get much snow down in here. It's only at, at this point here, roughly, uh, from coast to coast on the other side, it's probably a maximum of about 20 miles. So you've got a lot of salt there. Which is pretty good. Westfield looking nice. One of ours parked up in there, unit only. I used to park in there. But hey ho! Defect for this one to go into the yard in the morning. It's come up on the screen that the uh, air dryer needs a service, so I shall uh, put it in. See whether they can do that. Go and dodge all the trailers here. Da -da -da -da. There's Volvo. in there a time or two and I will cut you loose right about here so uh, I might see you back in the yard in a minute if uh, I still got enough battery power and I'll catch you later bye for now well, we're back in the yard almost nice and early past fuck even the morning never been known we've had a couple of real nasty uh, spots of uh, snow around Oakhampton and Lawson but other than that piece of cake just spoke to my cousin John who's on his way up to London at the moment or he will be in the next half an hour He's just starting as I'm just finishing. Not from the same company. Then my mate, part two should be in here. I can't imagine him being gone yet. Volvo's done me proud again this week. It's a lovely machine, I tell you, absolutely gorgeous. We're on 202,000 and a half mile, or a half kilometres, at the moment. I just seen Mark II. <laughs> right. 202,000 exactly, so that's going to be easy for me to remember. Right, that's it done. All I've got to do now is uh, take some of the bits and pieces out for home. I do the bedding once a fortnight, so uh, that can go for another week. Do, 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 do. Put some of my paperwork away. Lorry's all washed and looking lovely, I must admit. I'm going to take them because I think I might need a couple of painkillers. Forward and forward. <coughs> First job I normally do is the bunk. So that bag can go that's all got my washing gear shavers uh, stuff for showers and you name it I'll take you and wash you you can go in there and that can go down there that's all my washing to be done that way I can put it in the bag 
get it all done and put it back in the bag again. You can stay there. <coughs> and then I'll just... Oh, there's my pen knife. That's from my cooking. You don't belong on the bed, you belong in there. So, pillows, bedding, and roll. And then you can go up on the top bunk. Ready for next week. Close, close. My Volvo jacket. Ooh. My air freshener. Turn him off. And take out the batteries to recharge. Loads left in there, and that's some. Um, cleaning and so that can go in there back in there that belongs in my bag and then my telephone that's my own personal telephone so that can go in my pocket this one here is uh, the, the uh, company one. I've got magnets, see look, I can plonk him on there and then this one normally sits up there and they're both Bluetoothed into the lorry stereo so I can answer the phone on that one, that one or that one. Next thing is my Amazon Alexa thing or not Alexa, Echo. You can unplug. And you can go in there. That's my Taco Graph card. And you go in there. Everything has its place. I know exactly where everything is. That's my pad. You can go in here. Everything's got its place, otherwise you'll lose everything. I don't need that one, so I'll just roll that one up. And you can stay in there. That gives whoever drives my truck a couple of chargers as well. That is my coffee thing and you can go in here and at the same time disconnect that. So that's that done. And then you can go there. I do believe that is it. You can shut, you can shut. GoPro, <laughs> take you with me so I can do the uh, the video. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. See you next week. Um, I've got two days off now. I'll be back in Friday. Oh, there is one more job to do. I've got a defect. On my book, I did say that, didn't I? So I'll put that one away. No defects, this one's the defect. So I've got to put in. That's why I parked my lorry here, so they know it's outside of the maintenance. I've got an air dryer that needs doing. The last driver said he's seen a lot of smoke. So the lot of smoke must have been the air dryer packing up. 
And then uh, I started it last night and it said air dryer needs sorting, so sorting it will. See you Friday. Good night.